Thank you for watching this short video about the Key Stage 2 tests, which our Year 6 children will be taking later this year. As you can see from the test timetable, there are six test papers over the course of the week covering the subjects of grammar, punctuation and spelling, reading and mathematics. All of the tests are completed over a period of four days. The first day of tests will focus on grammar, punctuation and spelling, for which there are two papers. The first paper is focused on grammar, punctuation and vocabulary and includes a range of question types, including questions where children have to tick a box or select one answer, or to circle particular word types, such as the example shown here about pronouns. Later questions are more challenging, such as this example where children are asked to identify whether the word after is being used as a conjunction or as a preposition. The second test on Monday will be the spelling test. In this test, children have some sentences read to them and they have to write the correct spelling into the gap. For example, in this case, the first word is discover. Later questions are more challenging. For example, the last word here the children have to spell is possession. On the second day, children will sit the reading test, which lasts for 60 minutes. The children have a reading booklet which contains a number of texts including non-fiction. For each text there are some questions, such as this example that requires children to look at the text to find the answer. The test will also include fiction and perhaps some poetry. Questions here will ask children to think about the language that's used, show their understanding of the text, or explain choices made by the author. On Wednesday, the first maths papers are taken. The first test is of arithmetic, calculations without a context. This test has nearly 40 questions to be answered in 30 minutes. These range from simple arithmetic, which can be done mentally, to calculations with fractions, and later examples that require the column methods, such as the addition example given here. Also, some questions require the use of the long method of multiplication or division. These questions are awarded two marks. Children may still get one mark if they make a small error in the calculation, but follow the approved strategies. The final papers taken on Wednesday and Thursday are the reasoning tests, each lasting 40 minutes. These contain questions where the maths problem is presented in a context, starting with simple problems and moving on to more complex ones, which require detailed calculations. In some cases, method marks may be available for where pupils make a small mistake in their calculations but clearly understand the method. At the end of the test week, the papers are marked externally and returned to schools in early July. The results are presented using a scaled score of between 80 and 120, where 100 represents the new expected standard for 11-year-olds. Higher attaining pupils will receive a higher score. And for some pupils who have not yet reached the new expected standard, a score of below 100 might indicate the need for further support in Year 7. Results for the tests will be reported to parents at the end of the year, showing both the scaled score and indicating whether the child has met the expected standard or not. In addition, teachers will make a separate teacher assessment judgement about whether a child is working at the expected standard for their age. Parents will want to help their child to prepare for the tests and can do this by ensuring that they attend any booster sessions in school and keep up with the homework that's set. There are also some things that you can practice at home, particularly around the basic skills. This might include learning the basic number facts and methods or spelling rules. And of course, we always encourage reading at home. Perhaps the most important thing you can do as a parent is to support your child and make sure that they're not too concerned about the tests. We want them to do their best, of course, but we don't want them to be panicking or concerned about the outcomes. If at any point you or your child have any worries, please do contact their class teacher. We want to make Year 6 a successful and enjoyable experience for your child. Thank you for watching.